So your purpose is, you feel, to bring through this high divine energy and not just give messages, but because, and we'll do a demonstration in the process, give a vibration, shift the frequency of the person. That's yeah, I mean, that's, that's what is being um, shown to me through other people. I don't really, I, I don't, you know, I'm, what I'm doing, I don't know how other people are receiving it. I'm just going back off of how, what other people, how they're responding to well, it. Well, I think you're evolving and maturing, and it's it's a new practice. But I'll tell you, that's what I feel when I see you channel, is your purpose is to just stand in front of people. And it's not even the words. It's the vibration that right. they can pick up in their field. Yeah. Like, even now, I feel like there's a vibration that's that right is starting I well mean, that's that is what is being told to me by people is that there's an energetic transmission happening mm -hmm. in addition to a channeling yeah. or I think that's channeling actually, whatever you want to call it i think mm. the words are secondary to the vibration so why don't do you want to try to sure. shift vibration? Yeah. Can I have like, um, you want me to, you yeah, want me want, to speak? I would love for you, because this is what I really love to do when I talk to channels, is as talk through your process. This is what I asked Daryl, Bashar, <laughs> okay. Knight. Take all, me through it. All the great channels, like what's going on internally. Okay. Because I think other people watching can learn shifts of so if you, if I know sometimes it's inner and there's no words for it, but tell me how you begin your pro. Like just now, you were starting to shift. So I'm just. You could slow down. Yeah, I'm just sort of um, connecting. Like I'm just making sort of like this intention to connect to the energy. Uh -huh. It's not hard once you're once you're able to do it. it it can come in pretty fast. Do you feel a different vibration now? Starting to. What are you feeling? Oh, I'm starting to feel just the energy moving through. Just um, Which, probably not much different than what you're feeling. Yeah, um, like where are you feeling it in your body? In my hands. Okay. Um, so hold on. Just give me a couple seconds sure. or a couple, maybe a minute It'll or take, two. It take as much time as you need. Um, but as you start to shake, I do feel a vibrational. Well, that's the energy really breaking through me. Um, okay, hold on. <sighs> See, that's the energy moving through my body. How do you get it to do that? I don't know. I just call on it. Okay. So once it once it comes through me then it can go emanate outwards but it's got to come through me first So I'm starting to get images. And once I go through that, then my voice will start to come through. What kind of images are you getting? I'm getting an image of a snake, but that's usually Kundalini. Just give me a minute or two. Yeah, yeah. This is about the movement of energy, how energy moves. When you see the snake moving, 
in a way where it's sliding. This is the energy moving through the snake. When the energy has been released in the person, this is how the energy moves through the person like a snake. This is why the body can move freely once the energy has been activated within the person. The energy must move through the person freely and emanate outwards. This is how the energy is transmitted. It is important though that the energy move freely through the person and that it does not get stuck. How can it get stuck is that the person feels inhibited to allow their body to move in the natural way that it is allowed, that it is able to. When the person releases this belief system that it is inhibited to be able to move in a way that it has not moved before, the energy can then move freely. The body is meant to move. The body is meant to feel free not inhibited by the person's beliefs. Once you are able to do this, the energy is then free. How do you activate that energy to be able to begin to move is the question. You must first believe that it is possible. You must first understand and believe that it is a possibility that you, you are able to activate this energy within you. Once you have done that, you then must relinquish any ideas of what that may look like or how that may appear. This can be uncomfortable and this may be an uncomfortable process, but this is the way you will be able to move the energy through your body and outwards, emanating outwards to others. This is being a vessel. This is what a vessel is. You can call this a channel. It is simply being a vessel of energy to be able to move outwards. <sighs> So now I'm feeling much more sitting next to you. Yeah, I'm feeling that whole field shifting. Uh, how can I use that, to use that idea of the snake to, to activate myself? If you want to understand that the snake has been used to represent something that you are scared of, you can shift your consciousness into seeing that the snake is actually something for you to benefit from. When you understand this, you can understand that the energy is something that you may be fearful of because it's something that you do not know. 
It's something that is foreign. It's like this snake. It is something that may cause you to feel fear. But when you understand that the energy can benefit you and benefit others, then you can activate the energy within you. So how can I do that right now? Is there, what are you getting? You can close your eyes. You make an intention. You simply make an intention. Knowing inside you that it is possible, you must know it is possible. If you do not believe that it's possible, it will not happen. You must know that it is possible. And from there, you make an intention to activate the energy, the divine energy, the source energy within, with inside of you. When you do this, you must connect to the great I am presence. Mm -hmm. This is the key. Is this the purpose of your channeling? The purpose is to bring through the I am energy, the I am presence. I'm feeling very heavy now, I have to say. The heaviness. The heaviness. The heaviness. <sighs> will dissipate. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's clearing my head now. Do you, do you have any psychic downloads you want to give? Okay, hold on. I'm going to come in. I'm You're coming back in? Yeah. But, but I mean, I'm in. You're in, but the energy's moving through you. The energy's still moving through me. I'm still in, but my voice is coming through. To, to, to do um, the reading. So you're, you're channeling the energy and you're, you're yourself doing a reading. Yeah. I wasn't going to, but if you want me to, I sure, will. Sure, let's try. <laughs> no, because okay. it's interesting, those two spaces. To, to ha you're holding those. Yes. So basically, when the words are coming through me, it's me not knowing what is going to be said, but allowing the words to just come through. Mm -hmm. And the words just, they just come through. I can't explain it, but no, the no, energy is still moving through me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, this so, is the energy. So, let's um, well, so a reading for the planet, like where we're going collectively, is also something I would love for you. But see what you get. Okay, hold on. Um, let me just, um, the planet thing is really big. Okay, let's talk. I feel like that's like going to be let's, like a 30 minute conversation. Let's get the planet thing. Let me just come into my okay. space for a second. That um, is, but I just want to say that's intense, that energy. I feel Do that. you feel it? I do. It's, <laughs> it's a vi I mean, the shaking is a vibration, but just the energy behind the shaking yeah is a vibration so you you feel you feel, feel good about it or you don't know how you feel no like what you don't know how you feel no i feel really good i feel like it's an acceleration no i feel good oh good i feel like it's uh vibrating faster the whole field is vibrating that's what i'm feeling here yeah well this is also um like i can feel the vibration in the field yeah it also i mean I think how energy works really depends on where you're at and who you're around. Mm -hmm. So I'm in a very high energy space right now. So that kind of makes it go a little bit faster. Yes. Um, whereas if I was working in like a really dense energy place, I'd have to work through a lot more, you know? Right. So basically I had this um, experience about the planet. It was very clearly communicated to me that there was going to be a massive shift on the planet and there was going to be people that are going to help shepherd that new the new world if you want to call it and i don't like to say new world because it's not like a new army of people but it is a new world where there is going to be this massive uplifting and that is why i was having my 
my child is I was going to bring him into this, this mm -hmm. new world. Do you want me to channel? Yeah. Or? Oh, okay. Channel Not, or however you want. I'm just I'm better. At, I'm better at channeling than, than the, psychically reading the planet. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So hold on. Are you activating your kundalini? Yeah. You're using your kundalini energy to get this stuff. So I guess so. Yeah. To get the channel. You're already being helped. Mm -hmm. You are already being helped by many sources. Although you are the highest source. When you realize that you are the highest source, you will no longer need help. Mm. Okay, is that good? good.